Coach, last chance to get a, sh a road win, and you've had your problems on the road. What would it mean to this program to finally break through for you? I think it's important for us. I tore our team on Monday, you know. Um, we haven't uh, won a road game yet. We haven't showed that we can win a road game. And, uh, you know, it's a challenge. Playing on the road in this league, uh, I found out with the road trips and, and the travel time and those type of things, it, it is a challenge. And uh, it's not uh, it's not as easy as some of the places I've been. So there's a mindset there. And, you know, I haven't really been too disappointed in the way we've been on the road, other than the fact that we've lost. Uh, we've really actually played pretty well on the road as far as keeping some game. We gave 14 to Missouri State there. but. Uh, and South Dakota stayed a little bit late, but other than that, we've done okay on the road as far as preparation and being ready to play. Coach, Eric, as you watch, as you watch the last five games, and, and obviously the, the double-digit leads or, or, or losing, is there something consistent when you found in the defense that you, that sticks out? You know, I, it's not really one side of the ball. I mean, I think the easy thing to do is, is uh, a lot of times when things aren't going well, people have a tendency to want to point fingers, and uh, I'm not a believer in that. And uh, Sometimes I may, you know, obviously be upset, but uh, for the most part, you know, uh, I look at us when we need, we need to score more points on offense, you know, uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it, we're in this thing together, so I'm not really about pointing the finger together. Now, guys losing contain, stuff like that, you know, that's, I mean, that's just something they need to be doing, but uh, we need to score more points on offense, you know. You can talk about defense, you can talk about special teams, well, maybe, maybe we need to score more points on offense. And uh, that's the way we're always going to look at it. Uh, we're a team here, and uh, we're going to stick together, and we're not going to let uh, anything divide us. Coach, you've seen the Northern Iowa's now, the South Dakota State's, all those good teams in the, in the league. What's the difference from your perspective as you've seen these guys from where your program is now and where those teams are now and kind of the difference there between the, the, all those teams and your team? I think uh, I, I see those, some of those other teams we've played. You know, Northern Iowa, uh, you can tell that they're an established football team. You know, Coach Farley's been there. He's done a great job. Uh, they've done a good job recruiting. You know, they had some newcomers come in, and all they really do is, is just kind of fill in spaces, and they still keep playing uh, at a pretty high level. Um, I think they do a good job of developing their players. You know, uh, that's another thing that I see is is, is uh, they're, they're really physically developed. And, uh, you know, you look at North Dakota, uh, South Dakota, uh, Western Illinois, you know, those teams, of, of, you know, because the Western Illinois had the same coaching staff. Uh, the coordinator was just promoted there. So I see uh, a, a, some teams that have had some consistency. Same coach has been there. They've been able to recruit to their offenses. They've been able to recruit to the style of defense they play. And uh, they have some depth and those kind of things. And uh, that's what you would expect out of programs that have been around uh, four, five, six years. And most of those coaches have been there longer than that. How do you, uh, Illinois State, obviously at home is putting some points on the board. So is this, is this a shootout game? You know, I think everybody wants to get caught up in stats. I mean, to me, stats are for losers, uh, really, because you, you, I know this. They beat North Dakota State, okay? They beat South Dakota State, and they beat Missouri State. So, <laughs> they can't be that. You know, they're, they're, they're a good football team and they're at home. And I'm you know, their, their seniors are going to want to play. So, they beat those three teams. And we all know about those three teams. They're pretty good. Eric, are you surprised how many points are being scored by teams in this conference weekend? It, it is. It's, it, there's, there's eight, I think there's eight of us uh, scoring over 30, someone said. And uh, I did. I looked at it just as in comparison. In the SEC, I think there's nine teams scoring over, over 30. So it, it, it's, a, it's a problem across the country, I think. That's why I said you got to score more points. You know, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what you're going to hold people to anymore. 28, 30 points, is that good? Is that holding the team in 28, 30, is that good? <laughs> I, I really don't know, but I know this. Uh, my experience with the SEC was is that's some of the best defensive players and defensive coaches uh, in the country uh, defensively, and there, there's, there's a whole bunch of them boys down there giving up over 30, so uh, we've got eight NARS giving up over 30. So I think offensively you need to, need to look at, like, you need to score more points. You need to try to score 50, you know, better. Getting back to uh, Illinois State, what do you think has been the difference since the early part of the season when they beat those teams and it's a little bit of a slide they're in now? Well, you know, they, they, they've kind of had some bad breaks here and there. You know, I don't, I don't know. 
if you can pinpoint it on one specific thing. But, uh, you know, I, I look at them as a, as a dangerous team. I think they still have some pride. There was a uh, comment made the other day that there's eight teams that still mathematically have a chance at this thing. So I'm sure their coach is telling them, you know, that we still have a chance at this thing and uh, some good things can happen to us. And, you know, uh, the two teams that they beat, they beat South Dakota when they were 20, and I think they beat North Dakota when they were 15. So at the end of the day, you know, they probably look at it like, hey, if we finish strong here, we beat two ranked opponents, who knows what might happen for us. So, you know, it's uh, eight teams are mathematically still in it. The game of the season, you were obviously annoyed about being ranked seventh in the bowl. Now you probably have to win two games. I mean, you would just reflect on that. Maybe them guys were right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, the, maybe, the, maybe those guys were exactly right. Maybe they had a crystal ball and uh, knew something that I didn't know. But uh, you know, are we, uh, you know, it's, it's, we are what we are. You know, you can't, uh, can't really change the past necessarily. All you can do is just constantly work on getting better in the future. And uh, I think, you know, most people that have seen us play, most people that watch us play, uh, they see that we're a team that's pretty dang close. You know. Eric, do you feel your team is getting better? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I felt like Northern Iowa uh, playing them was probably the best team, uh, both athletically, scheme-wise, and we were toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, I'm tired of being toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but we're toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We're toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the best teams, and uh, we'll get there one day. Do you think Indiana State is, is the surprise of the conference? Yeah, I think so. You know, that coach has been there three years. He's done a good job of recruiting. His kids are playing well. There's a lot of parity right now in the league. It's been 5-0 and at home. Uh, every team we've played has lost the next week. So I think Indiana State uh, may have a chance to upset Northern Iowa this week at home. You know, it's been a, been a trend. Every team we've played has lost the next week. Coach, you have a, a lot of young players obviously playing now, and they're getting valuable experience. And with the way the, the last five weeks have gone, down to the wire, maybe just disappoint right at the end. A couple of plays here or there could completely change the game. Do you think that in some ways maybe that could psychologically hurt them moving forward? The, the, here we go again kind of thing? Or is no, it something that would drive them? No, I think it would drive you. You know, uh, we're, uh, we're way under the salary cap. I can assure you that. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to reload with another 30 guys, and uh, I think we'll be just fine. We're just uh, we're way under the salary cap right now. It's just kind of the way it is, but uh, we'll get that back. That doesn't mean we're paying players either, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your comment about stats is that you're not going to try to get Barnes 37 catches over the next two weeks. Oh, uh, Dominic will get what he needs. You know, I'm sure he will. He's a good football player, and you know our senior class has done a good job of keeping this thing together. Really, for the most part, you think about it, uh, things they've had to go through. Them, them guys, you know, my heart goes out to them because. Uh, I really wanted them to get that last win there against Northern Iowa, so they had something to to put in their back pocket and take with them. And uh, I felt for those guys because you know it's just something I wanted to give them back. Coach, what do you think is out there for the seniors to take with them? You talked about Northern Iowa at that point. I mean, what what is there now for them to take? Well, I mean, they they realistically know because they're in house that we're doing things the, the right way. Um, that doesn't mean things were done the wrong way before. But we're doing things in the right way. We're doing things uh, to build a championship. There's accountability from A to Z in our program. And uh, they know that the foundation really is being laid for doing something special. I mean, uh, and that's what we're expected to do with over around here, too. So, but they know that they were a part of it. And uh, I told them when we win our first championship, they'll uh, them seniors to get a ring. Because they were they were a part of uh, the start of that process. First national championship or Valley championship? First championship. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, can yeah. can you give us uh, a little detail first on the Illinois State offense? What makes it run? What well, the challenges I, are. The thing that I see is is you know the quarterback. I mean, obviously, he's a sophomore, he's a talented kid, and he knows where to go with the football. They've got two really good running backs, and 
they've kind of had a perception as a team that likes to throw the ball a whole bunch, but I've seen them uh, running the ball a little bit more, and that's probably maybe to, to help their defense out a little bit. But uh, the two running backs are, are legitimate, and uh, they've got a big old offensive line, good-sized guys. The quarterback's only a sophomore. They've got some young receivers that are going to be back there. They've got some youth in their program a little bit, too, at some spots. So I think that they got a chance. Uh, you know, and coach, coach is in his second year there, so he's in the process of building a program. But they run the ball probably a little bit better than some people think they do. Uh, I think, it's, you know, people think that they were a, more like a Purdue style offense, four wides all the time and throwing it, when really the, they make more of an effort to run the ball than people think they do. Conversely, you talk about what they do defensively. Defensively, you know, they base out of a four man front. Uh, they like to pressure you, obviously, and, and all the usual down and distances that you would expect a team to pressure you. Uh, I think, you know, the strength of their unit there is their defensive line. They've done a decent job up front there. And, uh, you know, what I see is, is a team there that, uh, you know, coach was at Purdue. He had tremendous success there as defensive coordinator. And I think he's still continuing to try to tweak and get exactly his guy in there. Uh, as far as what, what, what they're asking them to do. But uh, they've been able to play pretty well outside on the edge there. And, uh, you know, you, you can tell that, that they're a well-coached team, uh, even though statistically, you know, that may not show up there. Uh, the thing that I continue to go back to is, is this football team beat South Dakota State at their place, they beat Missouri State, and they beat North Dakota State. So, you know, uh, to me, that validates them as a, as a decent football team and a couple more wins in their mind uh, that they, they have a chance to win this thing. So that's the way, that's the way they look at it.